You are listening to Motivation and Confidence by Tom Danger. All right, everybody, we're Wodge, now tuned into Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best. And I'm your host, Tom Danger. Back this week with a new episode. And this week we're at episode number 56. We're calling this one Appreciate the Little Things. And it actually put me in the frame of mind to think about how sometimes I get lost, right? I get lost in just the day and trying to keep up with everything, to make sure that everything is going right, to make sure things are in order, um, to make sure that the people that I'm supposed to take care of are being taken care of. And, you know, handling business at work, handling personal affairs, you know, taking care of the business and other side hustles. And sometimes I just get lost in the race. Right. And, and all I see is go. Like I don't really think about taking care of myself the way I should or getting the proper rest that I should or just allowing my mind to run with thoughts that I should have greater control over and I don't and again I'm just stuck in this go mode get it done and I think that energy transfers to other people and I think when I come into contact with people it's sort of like oh he means business you know let's not you know be cordial not to say like I'm, I'm trying to be rude or anything it's just very short and to the point and I have to check myself sometimes, you know, um, because I do reach that point to where I feel as if I'm overwhelmed. And when I feel that way, um, I need to slow down and appreciate all of the little things. Right. So I came up with a short list of little things that I think in my mind actually just help me enjoy life more and, and, and slow down. Right. And the first thing that came to my mind was when you come in in contact with another person, smile, right. Doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't take a lot of effort and it can change the energy and the mood within a matter of seconds. I mean, a simple smile, you know, in the hospitality industry, we had something that's called the 80, 20 rule, right? So 80 feet within a person, I'm sorry, the 510 rule, right? 510 rule is uh, when you're within uh, 10 feet of a person, you sort of wave five feet, you you know, you say hello, you know, but imagine if you um, also include a smile, how you just change the energy and your own mood and the mood and the energy that you give to that other person, right? Here's another thing. What about giving a person a compliment? Right. And I know that in today's workplace, you have to be really careful about who you give compliments and the type of compliments that you give. But you can say something as simple as have a wonderful day. You know, something along those lines, even that's more like a statement, but you can tell a person, you know, you look very happy today or just give a simple compliment. That's a nice tie. That's a nice blouse. Those are nice shoes, right? Without getting too much into the specifics and not saying, oh my God, you look sexy and all this craziness. Like you don't want to do that. Then you get in trouble in the workplace and then you have HR and all this other stuff going on. But, you know, think about how that other person may feel when you give them that compliment, right? And again, we're talking about shifting energy here, right? So again, if I'm speeding a thousand miles a minute, but I just slow down, that I could possibly impact this other person in a positive way by simply giving them a compliment. And let's say if I don't even give a compliment, what about just saying hello, right? Especially in New York, when you're walking (laughs) up and down the street, if you want to get the weirdest look. And most of the time when, you know, downtown, uptown, doesn't matter when you're in the fast pace of of, of, of of New York and you 
walk past a stranger, you say hello, they look at you like you're the weirdest person on the face of the earth. Like, yo, what is wrong with you? Right. And I don't know why that is in New York, because if you go to other states, mainly down south, everyone walks up and down the street and they say hello. Like That's very common. And it's not trying to be intrusive or an open invite or anything. It's just hello. And think about the engagement again and how the other person may feel. Now, depending on the time and place outside of New York, that's a very welcoming thing to do. Simply saying hello, you know, um, and that other person, it may make them feel good. So why not do it? Right. We're still talking about little things that you can do that you can appreciate and that others may appreciate as well to constantly keep positive energy flowing because that's what we're talking about here not getting lost in the race of go and constantly having that positive energy surround you volunteering your time or volunteering work you know there's always friends and family that need help or even complete strangers you know I've heard of some people during the holidays as we, you know, approach the fall and it's September now and pretty soon Thanksgiving will be around the corner. But plenty of people, instead of making Thanksgiving dinner at home, they go to, you know, various kitchens throughout the city and they donate their time or, or various churches. Or there, there are a number of organizations that you can donate your time to, you know. Um, I know something that I like to do at least quarterly is whatever clothes I have in my closet and I'm not really wearing them. They're just sitting there. I bag everything up that's, you know, still in good condition and it's clean and everything. And I like to take everything to the Salvation Army, you know, or I would take some things to a particular church. And I just drop, you know, bags of clothes and shoes off because my hope is that I can impact someone else in a positive way to keep that positive energy flowing. Right. So volunteering and and giving to charity and sometimes, you know, there there, there are various charities that you can give to. Um, I like to give to one of the organizations, I think it's pronounced, is it Kiva, K-I-V-A, to where you help other people in um, other countries, give them micro loans so that they can finance their business. You know, real simple. They pay you back and it's actually just a really good cause. But but again, there are hundreds of thousands of different organizations that you can donate to to keep that positive energy flowing. Right. Um, little things, little things. What about just taking a simple walk in nature? Right. You know, a lot of people now, especially in New York, because this is where I'm from. You're walking up and down the street and everyone's in their phone like you just like you just stuck to your phone so much and people walk down the street now with their heads down but what about keeping your head up and actually looking at the sky now looking at the sky may be a bad example because that's just as bad as looking down at your phone but really just being in tune with your surroundings right what's the weather like what do the trees look like what do the flowers look like right to really enjoy the beauty of nature as we walk within it every day right now this is something that i've learned recently and i've also mentioned this before in a previous podcast about foods and things like that but eating fruits and vegetables right and the positive effect that it has in your body because almost every fruit and vegetable has an emotional effect on your body And if you want to take it another level, there are certain fruits that you can share with other people to help them feel good or to build a strong bond. You know, like if a person is down, like you can share cherries with them, you know, Um, you can eat apples to help boost your spirit and make you feel happy. Right. So sharing fruits and vegetables and just eating them on your own and really paying attention to the color and the uh, smell and the taste and really just paying attention to it and not just wolfing it down because we're always running, right? What about listening to stories from your elders or your OGs, whatever you want to call it, right? The person who has been around longer, has seen and done things and can give you some advice on what you're 
possibly going through or, or, or to help you with that potential roadblock or that particular situation, you know. So listening to your elders is always good. Another thing that you could possibly do to shift the energy and keep positive energy flowing is lending a show to the cryon. You know, like some people, you hear a lot of people talk about now more than ever that they're battling with depression, right? How many of us actually open our arms and say, hey, if you're going through something, call me. I'm here for you. You can, I'll, I'll listen, you know, and I'll throw it out there, you know, from time to time. If, if people are, they have subjects that they want to talk about that they don't want to talk about with family or, or, or friends and you want to drop Tom Danger line, like the numbers on the page, you can hit me on text. And if I have free time, you know. 30 minutes of it is yours, you know, and I'll, I'll listen. And if you want my opinion on something, I'll give it to you. But if you just want, you know, an ear to listen to, I'm here. I'm definitely here. And, and, and I really mean that. What about also when you're out in nature, paying attention to the sun, right? Don't you appreciate sunny days after you've had bad weather when it's been like raining for like a week or just cloudy days and then the sun comes out again and it's like sort of don't take it for granted right food clothing and shelter what about that think about how many people who have been impacted by the storms down in the south right something that we have on a daily basis that has been taken away from them within a matter of seconds so we really have to be mindful of what we have and appreciate it and not just go through the day of Oh, this is always going to be there for me because one day it may not. So you must always appreciate it. Another thing that we can do is embrace positive thoughts. Sometimes in our mind, we can allow our own thoughts to get away from us. And it becomes sort of like a. I want to say what's the right word that I'm looking for. It's just a a downward spiral of negative thoughts or uncertainty or fear, right? And and you know, when you have fear, fear leads to so many other destructive things, right? So you don't really want to have that thought pattern at any point, right? So you want to combat that and always have positive thoughts. Always know that there's something positive that's going to come out of your situation, even though it may feel painful at that moment, right? And that also leads into having a quiet space. We're talking about appreciating the little things, having a quiet space. Can you imagine in a day you're running and you're doing so much, especially for me? And, you know, everyone wants a little bit of your time and wife, kids, business, friends, relatives. Everybody wants a piece of you. But when do you get that time just to sit in silence and just be right? I've heard a lot of people say, man, it's hard for me to meditate. And I'm not even talking about meditate, right? So that's that's a whole nother level, right? But we're just talking about just to have that space where you can enjoy silence, whether it be for five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour, two hours, but enjoying that space. Little things, appreciating the little things, appreciating having a friend, right? I'm pretty sure that a lot of us have plenty of acquaintances, but when it comes to true friends, I can only speak for myself. The number is very small. I have very few friends, but I know a bunch of people, very few that I can call friends that if I need anything, I mean, anything at any given moment, at any time, from any place, I know they got me, right? So you really want to appreciate when you have those type of people in your life that you can depend on. And I think that another small thing that we really take for granted sometimes is the ability to create, right? And to use free thought, especially, you know, and in doing the podcast, like, you know, it's, it's, it's so many ideas that go through my mind and I'm thankful for all of you who've been listening and sharing and liking and subscribing and and, and checking out the downloads and sharing it with with other people and again the book is coming out seven steps um motivation and confidence volume one it's coming out real soon um mixtape to go with it seven tracks on it and just the ability to create freely and 
not feel restricted in my creativity. And I embrace you and I encourage you to do the same thing with, with, with your thoughts. And lastly, more than anything, it's about helping others. And we're talking about the small things here, helping others and doing any of the things that I've mentioned on this particular list can potentially help someone else. But I challenge you to first help yourself, help yourself get better, be the best you so that you can help others. This is Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best. Please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for listening. If you'd like to, you can also drop an email to tommydanger at gmail.com. Thank you.